Why does time move forward is one of those questions that sounds like a good question, but then you're tempted to give the answer, did you expect it to move backwards? The real issue is not why does time move forward, but why is there a forward? Why is there a difference between one direction of time that you call toward the future and the other direction you call toward the past? Time is a lot like space, as Einstein has taught us, and if you're up there in space in your spacesuit, there'd be no difference between different directions of space, up, down, left, right, forward, backward. But there's an obvious difference when it comes to time, future versus past. And the answer is the same reason why here in your room, unlike up there in space, there is an arrow of space. There's a difference between up and down. That's because we live in the vicinity of a very influential object, the Earth, that is pointing us downward, that is creating a directionality to space. The same thing is true with time. The reason why there's a difference, an arrow pointing from the past to the future, is because we live in the aftermath of a very influential event, the Big Bang. The Big Bang started the universe in a very orderly, unusual, highly arranged state, and it's been winding down, becoming more disorderly, more disorganized ever since. But we are nowhere close to being done with that process. It's about 14 billion years after the Big Bang. The universe is not going to reach equilibrium until a Google years, that is to say, 10 to the 100 years after the Big Bang, in the old-fashioned sense of the word Google before the search engine came along. That is a preposterously, hilariously, unimaginably large number. So in the universe we live in right now, there's a very strong difference between past and future because we're still feeling the ramifications of that crucially important event when the universe started.